Open wide. Ready? Here comes your chunk of Trump. It's my favorite food. With your first bite, here's Mark Thompson. I have a feeling it's going to be beautiful. Breaking news. Trump will sue the judge in a last-ditch attempt to delay or get out of this Manhattan trial. His lawyers are saying they're going to file an action asking an appeals court to delay the first prosecution of this former president. Experts say it's not likely to succeed, but boy, he does throw it all up against the wall and see what sees what sticks, doesn't Can he? Can you imagine? I don't like your decision, Judge. I'm going to sue you. Well, I mean, before the trial even has started to try to just throw more stuff in the road to justice is kind of a Donald Trump move. It's right on brand for him. It's a week away from standing trial right there in Manhattan. Criminal charges that he falsified records to cover up the sex scandal he felt would hurt him politically. The irony there is not lost on me, I'm sure not on you either, that he paid that hush money and, you know, told Cohen to do this, to, to pay her off, to keep her quiet because it's embarrassing and it'll be political. It'll be a, there'll be a political stink on him. And now there's a whole trial and it's going to be reviewed all over again. I mean, it is insane, insane that it's really the only trial that's making it all the way probably prior to the election. Although his attempt here is to delay it even further. Trump was filing an action against the judge, Juan Mershon. The papers are not immediately being made public, but an online court docket where Trump's expected to file this uh, Article 78 action. It's a special proceeding that can be used to challenge government agencies and uh, judges in New York anyway. It showed that uh, this is sealed paperwork, but it's in involved clearly in an attempt to sue Justice Mershon. Remember, he imposed the gag order, then he expanded the gag order on Trump. So this is an appeal in the form of a lawsuit. Unlikely to succeed, particularly so close to trial, but Trump slings it and just hopes something good happens. And something good happens for him a lot of the time. So a full five-judge panel will consider Trump's request. In a separate filing with the appeals court, this just happened this morning, Trump is expected to ask the court to move the trial outside of Manhattan. It's weird because he is a Manhattanite. That's where Trump Tower is. But the argument is that he's so unpopular in Manhattan that it is wildly disadvantageous for the trial to occur in Manhattan. Um, so Mr. Trump and his lawyers, say uh, the New York Times, argue that the judge has a conflict of interest, citing his daughter's position at a Democratic consulting firm that worked for President Biden's campaign in 2020. Trump has repeatedly assailed Justice Mershon's daughter on social media. Assailed is a ding word. The judge could rule on the recusal request in the coming days. He rejected Trump's first recusal request that was filed last year. He's likely to do the same this time. And the idea somehow that they would move the venue is just not going to happen either. That's one thing that Trump is doing. And we continue with Chunk of Trump and with one other thing quite relevant, and that is Trump now promising a deal. He always promises something, and he always promises a deal. I could clear up, well, you name it, Ukraine, the Middle East, but back during his administration, I've got a better health care plan. I've got a great infrastructure plan. I'm going to release it next week. You're not going to believe it. There's never been anything like it. There's and never been anything <laughs> like this. Yeah, and you never see it. Trump promises a deal on abortion that will please everyone. No. Should, uh, <laughs> I mean, Trump is the guy who gave you the court that rolled back Roe v. Wade after those justices who were going through the confirmation process promised that they wouldn't touch Roe v. Wade, that it was settled law. That's what they said, that it was settled law. They didn't promise they wouldn't touch it. They said Roe v. Wade is settled law. They're all singing from the same hymnal, which is a liar's hymnal, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, Trump goes on and uh, on, he's taking on an issue that he knows 
has radioactivity around it. I mean, let's face it. It's one of the reasons that I think they lost midterms and they'll likely lose a lot of seats in the House and they may lose the presidency in large measure as a result of women showing up or those who care about women's reproductive rights showing up on election day. He has pledged to make a statement on abortion this week, says Trump. And he's promising that he's going to get all the groups together and negotiate something that would make, quote, both sides happy. He says 15 weeks seems to be a number that people are agreeing at. Yeah. It's, uh, I've received a lot of positive letters. Yeah. Mm. The tactic has drawn praise from conservatives who, you know, like Kellyanne Conway, Trump's former counselor, she said it's a reasonable conservation, uh, conversation starter. It reflects consensus, said Kellyanne Conway. She said of a 15 or 16 week ban, citing her own firm's polling. You know, she is a pollster. That's really her, those are her roots. People recognize that the lack of compromise, moderation, and reasonableness is on the side of the professional political left and the Democrats. Really? That's the lack of moderation and reasonableness <laughs> on the part of the left? You have total abortion bans going up in red states. You think that reflects moderation and reasonableness? I mean, there is absolutely an inflexibility and a jihadism around this in red states and on the part of the GOP. It's outrageous. It's disgusting. It's grotesque the way they have taken women's reproductive rights and they have s canned them. Trump has uh, blasted other Republicans for speaking inarticulately, inarticulately, as he says, mm -hmm. on abortion. And he realizes this is a problem for the party. That's why I think this is, look, he doesn't have any plan on abortion rights, and he doesn't have any plan on women's reproductive rights, and he doesn't care about anything but getting reelected, getting power, getting money. But he does have to play the political game, and this is why this is instructive, because he knows that this is an insanely damaging thing that he started. I mean, the breadcrumb trail on the Supreme Court reversal of Roe goes right back to Donald Trump and the Federalist Society. You're getting the worst of both worlds, said a political strategist who's worked on several presidential campaigns, including Trump's failed 2020 bid. So this is a GOP strategist. Pro-life groups still aren't going to be happy, and you're still supporting a nationwide limit that Democrats will attack. Publicly, the Trump campaign will want to keep their options open and stick to the line that he will negotiate something that everyone would be happy with, which, of course, is nonsense. This is a GOP strategist saying this. Trump's promise to address the issue comes as Republicans continue to struggle with how to talk about abortion, this issue. I mean, this is their biggest electoral stumbling block. It's shown itself to be that over the last couple of years. And you've got centrists, independents. You've got those who would pull the lever for Republicans, but for this. And the anti-abortion hardliners are out there, and they say anything short of a total ban is not acceptable. Right. So how he can say and and anger people on both sides of the issue, I'll be able to negotiate no, negotiate something that'll make everybody happy. Right. I'm already not happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's your chunk of Trump. That's it for this edition. Well, I really enjoyed it. But make sure to join us again next time. I think you might want to listen. There's nothing wrong with listening. For another chunk of Trump. Hi, it's Mark, and I thought that was great. Hit the notification bell. You'll know whenever there's a new video being dropped. And please subscribe to our channel to help us save the universe.